Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be checking out this week's update which has stuff to do with the Wolf Hall Inn so I'm excited for that. Um, so I guess let's go ahead and get into reading the news page. <clears throat> Troubled Taurus. Hey, Star Fam. This week, Wolf Hall Inn has happily opened its door to some new visitors. Help the Inn. Wolf Hall Inn is now hosting their first foreign visitors, a curious boaten and equestrian family. The staff is doing what they can to ensure the visit is perfect, but something, something's not quite right. It is up to you to investigate... Um, and to help the inn improve. Can you help these tourists get their Eurovacations back on track? In order to help the troubled tourists, you must be a star rider, have repaired the bridge to Jarlheim, and completed the restoration of Wolf Hall Inn. Horse Retirement. This is a friendly reminder that the Generation 2 quarter horses are re retiring. Um... During the Wednesday update on August 17th, from then on, they will get, leave Jorvik and not be available for purchase. Um, find them at for the horse market before they receive their well-earned retirement. If you already have purchased any of the horses, don't worry. These horses will stay unchanged in your safe ownership. Please note that... They will not be fairly supported with any bug fixes, updates, or new tech. And next week, let's keep the summer fun going and bring it to the beach. So, let's go ahead and get into the game. So, Wolf Hall Inn is hosting their first foreign visitors, but something is not quite right, and all in Umba have returned. So, let's go ahead and head over to, I guess, the Wolf Hall Inn. Um, yep, we have a quest there. Um, actually, before we do that, I just want to give Legend some water. Um, I've been trying to get all my horses to be, um, faster. So, yeah, by the way, Legend is level 11, so that's kind of exciting. Um, I'm gonna need to get more food and water, but yeah. Um, I'm excited. By the way, guys, in exactly five weeks, I will be starting school. So, I'm excited, but also kind of scared because I've been doing online school for the last two years. So, yeah. Okay, so we have a couple people here. So, let's go ahead and talk to Anna. What's on their mind? Hello, Kate. Wolf Hall Inn is currently hosting... An um, some guests from aboard. I wish I could say that things are going smoothly, but something seems to be bothering them, and they refuse to tell me what. Can you talk to them? As an innkeeper, I want to ensure their stay is as good as possible, but they aren't telling me what's wrong. Perhaps out of course. Oh, we get character XP! Okay. Awesome. Okay, I mean, it's not a lot, but at least we are getting some, because, yeah, <laughs> I need character XP. I want to get to level 21 so bad. Okay, let me introduce the Taurus that are currently staying with us. Then you can ask them what's bothering them. Okay, so we have, um, okay, let's do this one. One of our guests is a boatin who's scouting the area as a part of her research. Um, she's also looking for a location to hold conferences. Ed's excited, excited as this sounds like a potential for even more guests in the future. I've seen her grumbling and mumbling to herself, um, primarily when she's in the cafeteria. I worry something may be wrong with the food we serve. Can you ask her... Uh, what's wrong? She says everything is fine when I ask, so I think she's holding back about her thoughts of, um, thoughts out of politeness. Okay, we can go ask her. By the way, my nose is, like, really stuffy right now, so I'm sorry about that. Um, hello. 
I look like something's bothering me and you're wondering if it concerns the inn. Well, sort of. Will you hear me out? Yeah, I guess. Um, Mother Nature is wonderful. Greendale Forest is nearby. Um, is proof of that. But nature can only provide so much if we keep taking from her. I came here to study the local flora. Several wild plants are getting... Um, rather wait several wild plants are getting rare in the wild while ged has certainly worsened the situation a oh, rare in the wild okay they weren't aren't the only ones at fault here isn't it a bit much to compare others to ged is there anything we can do to help um yeah oh sorry the ged is the big bad no question but there are things that we lay people can do one person cannot solve all the world's problems but the world it needs um all the good it can get we'll fall in is current current menu of plans or vision wild time 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 i guess um that is in, that's in decline in the wild, but relatively easy to grow if you know how to care for it. The seeds in the plant should have started to mature at this point, so I was thinking of collecting some and give them to the inn while they are also giving some feedback on how they can be more sustainable. You want to help? That's very kind of you. Thanks. You can move... Um... You can move about so much faster than I, since you have a horse. So, could I ask for you to collect some seeds? Here's a reference sheet so you know what to look for. I heard that they grow in the forest nearby. Okay. So, luckily we have this here. Looks like someone already gathered them. Um, so, yeah. I feel like we should be getting horse XP for this. You know, I don't know. I'm also kind of eating my breakfast right now, but it's just a smoothie, so. Okay, here, nope, that is not it, but we will collect some moss because I do need some moss. <laughs> um, there's some, how do I get up there? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, we're gonna come up here. There is some. Oh, great, okay. <laughs> We have five to collect. So there's one up here too. If I am correct. Nope, it is not there. It's up there. Okay. Uh, okay. Um. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Don't fall. No, don't fall. Mm, I don't like legend. I don't like you anymore, legend. We're gonna leave that one. There's so many more to find. So we're just gonna leave it. Um, here's some. Okay, we have found two. Here's three. Um, four, and then we have one more, which we can try to do that last one that we found. Um, that first one that we found. <laughs> okay. We are, I think, almost there. Yeah. Go on, legend. Go on. Okay. There we go. Almost there. Here we go. No! Uh, I did all that work just for it to not sprout any seeds. Great. Okay. Well, that's awesome. So. <laughs> Where else can I look? There should be some here. There we go. Hopefully this is the last one. Speaking for the flowers. 
By the way, guys, I'm feeling almost 100%. Like I said, my nose is kind of runny, and I'm stuffed up, but other otherwise, I'm doing pretty what, what? I can't speak any today, so that might be something, too. Um, but, um, yeah, I'm stuffed up a bit, but otherwise, I'm doing pretty well. Since I did have COVID and my throat is getting better. So, yeah. We gotta run. Just because I'm on horseback does not mean that I'm, I'm, I'm still slow. <laughs> okay. Let me take a look at me, um, to make sure you've collected all the seeds from the right plant. Yep. That's the right one. You are region wild time. Thank you so much for your hard work. Oh, nope. Um, so I should be ready to talk to the owner now. Um, the operative word is should. The guy seems to be a bit um, intense and I don't know the best way to approach him. You know him. Then could you ask for another favor and talk to him to see if he opened to the idea of making his business a menu more sustainable? Uh, I have to say yes. Why do we always have to say yes? <sighs> okay, I had another great business idea. Great. <laughs> um, I had an excellent idea for tourist activity that will surely um, cater to many guests at the Wolf Hall Inn. Yes, by combining the interests of horses and ecotourism, they managed to cover the biggest interests of those wanting to visit Jorvik. I made a deal with the people of Ger Go Gold Spur Farm and asked them to set up a small beginner friendly race nearby. However, I got some of their equipment sent here instead of directly to the person setting everything up. You have, you have something that you wish to talk for improving the inn. Well, I mean to finish the last of my thoughts before taking on any more mental tasks. So how about you deliver the equipment and try out the race meanwhile? Ed wants you to do him a favor so that he'll listen to you. The race is currently under construction, but he wants you to try the race set up for visiting tourists. He also wants you to deliver some items to the person setting up the race. Technically, that's two favors, but you decided not to argue back argue for now at least okay where do i go oh here loading goods on legend okay Well, at least we can go at a fall and gallop, but hopefully we'll be getting a new race. So that will be exciting. Um, I wish we did more things with um, um, new Hillcrest or old Hillcrest. So yeah. Thanks for the delivery. Is there something else I can help you with? Yeah, there is. You're with Wolf Hall Inn, and here I try out the race. And nice, it's not easy to do creative work in a vacuum, so having a writer to consult with will help. Mr. Field came um, came to me after negotiating a deal with Angus and I don't know that person's name. At Goldsburg Farm, I don't know the details, but we have some visitors in the inn. I manage the race tracks over at Goldspur farm so i wanted to set up a new race for wolf inns and i know greendale area well but that's enough background you look like you have no problem completing it so i'll time it you and add some challenge to it okay let's we only have 50 horse xp oh fine okay let's go i have no idea where we're going so hopefully it's fun Oh, okay, so we actually have, like, some real gems. This is nice. I like this. Okay. Oh, yes. Yes, yes, yes. They added, like, cross-country mixed with show jumping. Oh, I like that jump, actually. This one's a nice jump. And, of course, we have to add the logs, but, yeah. Okay. 
So hopefully we're going to have a new daily race. That'll be exciting. Um, so yeah. I've already gotten a shortcut. <laughs> Um, I like this. Yeah. Okay. Here is this jump again. Oh, we're gonna hit it. Yeah, there, there we go. Okay. We still have that other quest to do back at the, um, inn. Okay, so one minute and 21 seconds. Hold on, I've been wanting to get this horse because I really like this one. I'll think about it. Whoa, that's, no. Okay, yeah, I'll think about it. I still need to expand the race a bit and replace the obstacles with something that better fits the scenery. Moving a bunch of poles is a lot easier than the actual logs, you know. I could really use some more help later if you have time and things for now. Okay, let's go back. So, I liked the show jumps, but I do. They did look out of place. So, we'll just see what the finished product looks like if we get to see the finished product. So, yeah, that will be fun. Ride on back. Why is I'm not trotting? <laughs> okay, so hopefully he will do it now. Excellent, you're back in one piece. Now let's talk. Um, let's talk about how we can further attract visitors in the inn. One of the guests has some suggestions on improving my business from a sustainable point of view. I can't make any promises, but I'll hear them out. Send them my way. Okay. We really had to do a lot of work when she could have just went up to him. Really? Okay, well. I should stay nearby since she was nervous, nervous about talking to Ed. Oh, th we're staying nearby, huh? Okay. Both of them are frowning. Let's ask what's wrong. Great. More problems. <laughs> oh, hi, Kate. I look defeated. Ed told me that he gets all the food from his suppliers. I mean, of course he does. Chefs don't go out to pick things in the wild themselves. I feel so stupid. I'm so sorry I wasted your time collecting the seeds for me. I tend to get a tunnel of uh, tunnel vision when I thought of a solution to a problem. Not at all as wasted, dear guest. <laughs> okay. I have now learned about um, the vulnerable state of the plans and will limit my purchasing of it. Just because it didn't work out for the first time doesn't mean that the whole idea was wrong. Why not give some seeds and information to Miss Pike? Don't tell me I have to write to Miss Pike now. Oh, that's... Oh, okay. Um, I think I'm going to have to do that. Great. Oh, that's an option okay i <laughs> no 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 uh okay could you could i ask you to ride out and deliver then truth is i'm feeling a bit embarrassed and ought to make some time to think before i rush head first into my next problem to solve pissed a word before you go <laughs> okay i have some thoughts to share before you go great okay in all honesty, I'm not sure what Miss Pike can do about the arranged plant situation other than just educating her that the plant is endangered. Much like the name implies, she's a fisher, not a farmer. I don't think it's fair to assume she'll be willing to grow the plant as part of her business. Uh, but it's, it's also unfair to me to assume that she would do based on her name either. So, you best talk to her. After all, my name implies that I'd perhaps be a farmer and not a settler business owner. Okay. Your name would imply that you, um, never mind. I shouldn't waste more time 
on idle chatter when I have to continue thinking about growing my business. Okay. What does my name imply? That's my question. There's a girl over there. She's one, the one who's waving. She's been looking in, in our direction for a while. I suspect she might have something she wants to say to you. Okay. Sorry, Anna, but those guys are going to have to wait. We have one problem to deal with right now. Hi again, do you have time to try the updated race? Yes, of course I do. I really appreciate it if you try to um, try out the rework I made for the race. If you uh, if you have a favor to do on the other side of Groomdale, no worries. You don't have to do the full race if you don't have time. The big changes are the start of it. Um, so just do the parts that are on the way to your destination. Maybe you can do the other half when you return. Okay. Okay, so we don't have the full race, but we have the start where we end at Miss Pike then. So, yeah. Okay. Alright, I did say, I, I did like the show jumps, but I understand that these are more, you know, they're meant to be on the cross-country course. So, I always hit this, something like, one like that. There are more rocks, too, so, Yeah. Okay, my question is, then why did you do the show jumping poles in the first place anyways? Then, okay, well, yeah. They did multiple, they've been, they've like had multiple races, so, yeah, I don't know. This is, is never mind, I thought it was just a whole one blocking the way, but it's not. Okay, so that was one minute. A delivery. Oh dear, I have never knew about your vision wild time. That was vulner uh, was a vulnerable species. It has always been so abundant in the area where I was growing up. We often use it to season souped and grilled fish. Um, it would be a shame to not be able to eat those del those dishes in the future. So of course, we'd take heed. There's a fish in her hand. I just wanted to point that out. There is literally a fish in her hand. She just keeps squeezing it. Do you see that? Okay. Thank you for sharing this information with us. But what are the seeds? But what are these seeds you were giving me? Um, it is a nice to see the environment, environmental, uh, from we'll fall in. We're proud of what we can do and we have to take care of the environment that gives us so much i don't have i don't have any need for the seeds however i don't have any i don't have any flower pots nor the green thumbs to grow plants it is a it's a mineral that our roses are here and both hardy and healthy um, perhaps it is for the best you give them back to Mother Nature, spread them around the forest. I guess in the end, really wanted me to have these. I'm sorry, but I don't have any use for them. Of course, of course, of course. If you are worried about making them sad by telling them the truth, what happened here will sometimes a little lie might be for the best. That's something that you'll have to decide. Take some time to decide what you want to do before heading off. You have made up your mind. As for spreading the seeds, why not right around the forest with the seeds pouch open, letting them drop out as you jump and make your way back to the inn. Okay. Well, yeah. I almost hit that. <laughs> Okay, well, I haven't seen any places to drop seeds, but, you know. Are they in my... No. Okay. Well. Yeah. Well, I guess we're gonna lie to her, say that, yeah, she took the seeds, boom, everything's solved, or I just... I don't know. I don't know. There will be probably options for us to choose. Star Sable's encouraging for kids to lie about 
stuff. What? Why? I just realized that. Like, Star Stable is now encouraging kids to be like, oh, yeah, if you tell a little lie, that's fine. It's just like, what? Um, Star Stable, why are you encouraging encouraging these bad behaviors? That is not good. Okay. <laughs> well, that's Star Stable's problem, not mine now. Mm. Okay. Oh, hey, you're back. Yeah, I am. How'd it go? I'm gonna have to lie to you. Whoa. I'm inside of my horse. Well, don't keep me waiting. Lies say everything went dandy. Tell the truth. Okay, that one. Oh, I'm sad it didn't quite... It didn't work out the in the end with the seeds. But at least she knows that the plant is endangered in the wild. Well, thank you for telling me how it went. Now I can relax and not feel so guilty about the menu in the cafe. Remember, you should celebrate the small victories, too. We made a good team, didn't we? Thanks for hearing me out. I guess that's what's left for me to do. Um is what I came here for, some rest and relaxation. I just slammed my cup that had my smoothie against the table. Wow, okay. At least it gives us the option to not lie about it, but yeah. Um, looks like the dark clouds over our guest have disappeared, thank you. Oh, and before I forget, Ed told me that the race in the inn is setting up will be available for you to ride whenever you want once it's ready. I'm paraphrasing, but it sounded like that was a thanks for your help. Okay, now we have the other problem. <laughs> okay. A family staying here um, has been... Um, bickering for a while. I've only overheard bits and pieces, but they sound like they are undecided on what to do with their free time. Perhaps they appreciate an outside's perspective. Okay. Hello, dearie. How can I help you? I'm sorry, dearie. We were... Are we blabbering too loud? Actually, you're a local. Um... Actually, are you a local? You might be able to help us. We've been driving around Yorvik to look at different stables to decide which one to send our daughter um, to next summer. Our stay included a few extra days in case something unplanned happened. So now we have a few nights remaining with nothing planned. Do you have any recommendations for react relaxing activities? We should preferably not have to uh, drive after drive after driving so much lately when in your vic the best thing to do is ride horses duh duh <laughs> your mother is tired of driving to the stables please respect that we should try to find something else to do but dad oh dear looks like they're riled up again i have to try to calm them down but let us know if you can think of anything for us to do in the area before you go the man over there looks like he wants to talk with you Okay. I heard everything, Kate. They're not being particularly discreet after all. Let's put our thinking caps on and solve this situation. Um, our client is looking for something to do in the nearby area. This is sure to repeat itself with guests coming here for conferences and then having a few hours for themselves what activities can we suggest that takes place in the great outdoors it's time to for my thinking cap now where did i put it okay ah oh, there we go why is it a sleeping cap it looks like a santa hat too oh gosh i'm sorry i just hit my microphone Okay, I hope that wasn't loud. Um, the ideas are now flowing freely in my mind. Many hotels and inns often have a pamphlet stand with suggestions, events, and activities. So why don't we? Um, there's a barbecue pit nearby. 
Oh, up there. That's right. Near, um, nearby, up the hill. Go grab some photos, and I'll start writing. I have to include directions to the location and where, and where we sell good food and picnic baskets. Why are you here? Go take photos with your phone. Your phone doesn't have a good camera. What antique looking brick do you own? Um, I thought all the young kids were about having the latest model and make very well. You can borrow my camera, just return it when you're done. Don't I have, like, Alex's camera or something? Oh, no, I have our binoculars. The only problem is about this is that it is very close to the whole soul rider quest so if they w happen to just stumble upon it then we would um we would get found out about and i don't think that is like what we want so yeah <laughs> not good maybe i should not agree to this Although, I do feel like I'm not really a soul rider because I do nothing with them these days, so, I don't know. Is that just me, or do you guys feel that way, too? This is what I thought he was talking about, but apparently not. What was he talking about? I don't know. I actually don't know oh, this. I how do you even get up there? Okay, you get up here. From here. Okay. I am never known about this before. Literally never. Those look like old graphics. It looks like old graphics to me. It's not even a good place. Like, I would not want to have a picnic there. So. But that's just me. So, what do I know, right? <laughs> okay. Okay. You done? Let me look at the photos. Yes, this is great, but one spot is enough. People like having choices. They say that the locals often know the best spots for everything. Could you go ask Miss Pike if she knows any good picnic areas around Greendale? Also, seeing as the road wasn't um, transferable for some time, while you're on the way, make sure to keep out for anything that might be difficult for tourists to find their way through Greendale. Also, take notes of things that might help. Okay, well, we're going back through Greendale, apparently. This is awesome. So much fun with Greendale. Yay. You know, like, I never go to Greendale until now. Yeah, this is why we have signs for our characters to, for us to be able to locate places. So, yeah, I just crashed into that rock. Back up, legend. This bridge. Oh, I remember when this was covered with, like, branches and vines, and no one could get through it. I remember that. Also, just follow the path. There's clearly a path to, to follow, so just stay on the path. That's a good... Yeah. <laughs> Don't go off the path, otherwise you're gonna get lost. Stay on the path. Doesn't everyone know that? Hmm. 
but walking around it should be fine exactly or if you're on horseback you can jump over it easy what is that Greendale has quite a lot of unique characteristics lots of squirrels mushrooms and flowers many visitors can enjoy oh i thought i saw something i was like what is that well apparently nothing oh i need this thank you all right let's go to miss pike hello what can i do for you i know i visited you like 10 minutes ago and i should have given this information like 10 minutes ago but who cares really ed asked you to talk to me about the area Ooh, okay well we have a barbecue pit in a nice area right next to our house where you can hold a picnic we certainly won't mind an increase in foot traffic and company especially if they um may hold an interest in fishing there is also a nice area in the forest with a grand view um if they rather have privacy let me show you on the map these places where the guests don't get lost unfortunately the map doesn't have smaller roads on it but maybe you can draw them or take photos to help the tourists find their way take care now okay where do we go down here first okay we we I would just say Jorvik is about horses and horses only. So go to stables and be around horses. Because that's Jorvik. Horses. <laughs> okay, do you really... Okay, there's a picnic area up here. I was like, do you really want someone taking a photo of your house? No, no, I don't. I wouldn't want to. Also see the creepy place where Jan and Yar... Or not Jan and Yarl, Um... The Halloween guy died. Yeah. I remember that quest line from 2021. That was actually a pretty scary quest line, I would say. You know, like, if a five-year-old was doing that quest line, I feel like they would be pretty scared. So, yeah, that's just me. These logs broke the road, but good you need Okay. I pressed the wrong button. So that I couldn't jump. Jump! Legend, I can't control you today. Okay. We're running through the forest. Where are these spots? Here's a spot. Woo. It's easy to get lost, perhaps. Oh my gosh, I see my horse's eye. Let's go back this way. I don't know where I am, so good thing I had a little mini map. Is that a spot? No, but there is, um, I just sounded like a pirate. There are. <laughs> oh, goodness. Okay, here's another trail. I'm already lost. Yeah. Or we have a button that you can call for pickup on. So, I don't think I'm going to get lost. Ooh, here. Mm-hmm. Just walk around it. I don't know what to talk about right now, guys. I am just doing this find places and take photos quest. That's what we should call it. That's what Star Stable should have called it. F Take photos for the Wolf Hall Inquest. I've never been over here, by the way. Like, this is new for me, so. And apparently, we're pretty nearby to Wolf Hall Inn, so. That worked out. Oh, no. Oh, I have been here before. There used to be a donkey here. There's a rune stone down there. So. I gave up on trying to find those donkeys. I really did. So, yeah. That feels like forever ago. <laughs> well, you know, I have, like, I've been playing Star Stable every day, but it's gotten pretty boring. I've been just leveling up my horses and doing my chores, but it's just been so boring. So, yeah. 
Welcome back. I trust you found some more scenic picnic areas. Yes, yes, I did. No, I don't want this. Get out of my face. Move. Okay. You got some nice photos of the areas. Yes, yes, I did. Very, or nice, very nice. These scenic photographs are definitely, you're not even looking at me. You're not even looking at me. You're rude. Do you see this man? He's not even looking at me. <sighs> wow. These scenic photographs are definitely going to draw in a very uh, wary traveler is looking for a peace, peaceful picnic or barbecue. Apologies. Couldn't help over here. There are areas available for public. Um, why, yes, and they are, they all, what? <laughs> Okay. Why, yes, and they all have their unique selling points in what kind of scenery do you prefer? Which one would you recommend, then? The view of the hills are absolutely breathtaking. Nothing is more relaxing than the sound of water. The forest feels like you stepped into another world. Um, if you're talking about up there, then I say no. Um, I saw no water except there but then so i'm gonna choose the forest that does sound wonderful thank you so much for the suggestion although i would say your children are 100 percent right horseback riding on jorvik is what you do on jorvik <laughs> i'm glad that it worked out in the end thanks to my business scene and your willingness to help we've accomplished our goal of providing our guests with something to do with a destination in mind, um, they will now need food to enjoy their surroundings. You'll get a picnic basket from the stand behind the inn up the hill, but not the hill to the barbecue pit and give it to the family. Uh, I'll finish the pamphlet so they'll find their way. Okay, I'm like, do I really have to go buy a picnic basket right now? Like, I don't have many shillings, and I'm not wasting star coins on a picnic basket. So, yeah. Thank you for the picnic basket. Okay, run, legend, run. No, I did not get my moss. Okay. Oh, a picnic basket. Thank you. What a great gift. Thank you so much, dear. Why does she keep calling me, dearie? For going out of your way to find us something to do. Oh, I do get one of these, and I can sell it for 39 shillings. <laughs> Great, okay. Well, happy family on vacation. I heard from Ed that you helped him take photos and write uh, about the surrounding areas where guests can have a picnic. I also saw the parents of the Bickering family look very content as they carried a large picnic basket to the car. Hopefully, they set their differences aside and have a lovely evening really because they're still right here yeah i'm gonna act like i have never seen them and i'm not gonna see them like they don't exist right now there we go hey look at that <laughs> hot on okay thank you so much for listening and helping out with everyone's troubles <gasps> i almost just died because this is beautiful. Wow. Okay. I hope that in the future you will swing by Wolf Hall Inn again. Whether it be for rest um, or because your next adventure brings you here. I just got a saddle pad. Wow, I can sell it for 480 shillings. Let's take a look at this beautiful, magnificent thing. It's a nice green. I love this thing so much. I am going to be using it a lot, Star Stable. Thank you. But it doesn't match my outfit, so I'm going to put you away. Okay, let's go and do the race because we have a new race. Let's go ahead and check that out. Uh, that's not what I meant to do. Um, uh, I don't know where it would be. Mm, yeah, no. It seems like they have the same idea as me. Okay, so, wait. Where is the race? Never mind, they were doing the quest, but where is a race? 
I thought I saw a race here. Hold on. Looks like there are no more races, so I'm gonna have to wait for tomorrow, I guess. Um, I will make a video tomorrow to see if there will be a new race joining us, but so far it looks like there isn't. Um, so that just crushed my spirits. Well, um, yeah, <laughs> um, I guess that will be it for the video. Th there wasn't a lot to do today. I don't know. I just, I'm unsatisfied. I am very unsatisfied. So, well, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys all next time. Bye!